So this is Dr. Do again. This video is on alphabetic list of problem on letter E. I'm going to talk about the erythematous rash, which means just the, the rash, uh, the red colored rash uh, on the skin. Um, uh, turned out uh, rash uh, skin problem or rash is one of the most common reason for uh, visiting physicians and uh, there are so many causes and uh, so many kind of rashes. Um, is any rash uh, 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 associated with the emergency situation? Yes, uh, if the rash is generalized um, uh, with the association of uh, respiratory system, uh, difficulty breathing, chest feel tight, or feel dizziness or uh, auto mental status, which indicating probably uh, a blood pressure start to drop. That means probably the uh, the uh, anaphylaxis reaction um, with no or uh, no causes. Probably you know it. You just took some medication. You knew it. Just took some food. You had this kind of emergency situation. Just visit the emergency room, or you did not know what did you just exposed and cause this. Uh, what what were you exposed to? Just cause this sudden erupted rash with associated uh, difficulty breathing or um, confused, or uh, which is a sign of uh, dropped blood pressure. So if that's the case, you need to see the emergency. If there's, uh, there's, is there any uh, like erythematous rash, a rash associate um, that you can manage at home? There is, a, uh, for example, the contact dermatitis. Uh, you know it, you had, uh, uh, you just received a gift, a new necklace that you never had. Uh, this kind of necklace before and you develop the rash along the necklace or the watch, the chain of the watch. So that means contact dermatitis. If that's the case, you can remove the necklace or remove the watch chain, see whether it's getting better. Or you can use some um, uh, over-the-counter cortisone cream uh, uh, so see whether the rash will go away. If not, however, you need to see a, a physician to check it out. Make sure there's nothing else going on. May uh, have complicated infections or such. Uh, so if that's the uh, situation, your physician will recommend you what kind of cream. Maybe still over the counter, but the physician will recommend you the right type of cream uh, to treat it. So that's the uh, and in between of this um, two end, then there's some other rashes. You really need to basically need to see the physician to address, uh, unless it is one or two, or like one pimple or two pimples. Um, that's probably a different story. But anyway, even though it's one or two, depends, uh, probably need to be addressed by your physician, such as, for example, one abscess greater than t uh, one uh, or two centimeters, one centimeter is called abscess, uh, one, uh, 1.5 centimeter, uh, like local elevated, and uh, uh, red and uh, feel uh, fluctuated, which means abscess. There's no way you can manage it. Have to see a physician, either use uh, systemic antibiotics or to uh, uh, do the um, drainage, get the pus out. So the my point is, even though sometimes it is one or two, you still if it is beyond what you think a normal range, then uh, see a physician to make sure get it uh, treated. So anyway, um, so talk about the erythematous, erythematous rash, or I just use rash. There's so many kinds. They're either uh, flat, uh, you cannot feel anything, or elevated, or sometimes they're intended, uh, indented. So these are in terms of the, uh, the level uh, compared to the skin, or in terms of size, they could be uh, macule, very small, or they could be tumor, very large. So it depends on the, uh, or could be, uh, or or could be filled with the pus, pus juice, or um, less than one centimeter, or could be uh, filled with fluid like the, um, the vesicles, or could be, uh, the boli, which means uh, which is larger than 0.5 centimeter or one centimeter. It's a big, uh, uh, big sack of fluid inside of. Uh, under the skin. So that kind of situation, uh, you regardless of the cause, you need to see a physician. So anyway, uh, what are the causes for these rashes? Usually it's uh, uh, 
hypersensitivity is one of the most common cause, either type 1 or type 4 hypersensitivity, or the infection could be the viral, the bacteria, or the mite. So these are, if you categorize like this, then you just uh, 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 classify the, the rash into different, um, excuse me, So if you classify into these different classes, then you, oh, in your mind, you have idea what kind of uh, signs or symptoms you are looking for and to see your physician, to communicate with your physician. For example, the type 1 uh, hypersensitivity, like we talk about the carrier, for example, it's a kind of, uh, of mycos or pebbles, um, like uh, co coagulate to get coalesce together and also uh, they're usually the old one uh, finished and the new one start. So it's kind of uh, not last for individual each rash is not last for more than 24 hours. But the rash is still there, which means just the new one comes after the old one is gone. So if that's the case, if there's no other symptoms, you just uh, see your physician. Uh, I mean, there's if there's no respiratory system, it's like that shortness breath, difficult breathing, then it's just a skin problem, then you see a physician, a physician manage uh, the, this uh, hypersensitivity um, to treat it. Or the, if it's uh, the type 4 uh, hypersensitivity, which is cellular uh, cell mediated, uh, so it's like a, a delayed type of hypersensitivity, if that's the case, like uh, um, the contact dermatitis is one of it, and there's some other kind of uh, uh, hypersensitivity uh, rash caused by this kind of hypersensitivity. So um, again, regardless of the, the management, probably is the same. Use the topical steroid, for example, but um, you can get it from over the counter or the physician will prescri prescribe you one uh, with the more potent, uh, 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 shorten the, the duration of the time. So if that's the one, or there's some, um, in terms of the rash, there's a special kind called the petechia. I did not put in the first uh, uh, mentioned emergency situation. If the petechia, uh, what is petechia? It's uh, the um, under skin, like the small um, uh, bleeding site. Uh, if it's generalized, uh, petechia, which means um, may or uh, may not have other symptoms. It is also an emergency sign to, to see. It's also a sign to visit emergency. This, uh, this uh, a generalized petechia could imply very dangerous problems, such as, for example, some special gram-negative bacterial infection can cause this generalized petechia uh, for uh, E. coli or the uh, meningitis can, associate, can be associated with this generalized petechia. So if you have that kind of suddenly uh, felt a lot of petechia, a, a, a small bleeding uh, area under the skin, so if that's the case, you need to see the emergency. This usually do not belong to the skin problem, do not belong to the rash problem, but it's a sign you can look through, through the skin and then um, to see your physician. If it is localized, for example, just the, in one area, you have this petechia without no injury history, that is also a sign to see your physician. Maybe there, maybe you had, a, maybe it's just simply by you bump somewhere, but you did not notice, or it's just, uh, uh, there's something going on, you need to see your physician, especially if the petechia is, is painless. So that's the uh, another association associated problem with this rash actually the uh, erythematous rash. It's not belong to the category of rash, but just through here, just in case. Uh, so that's um, this is very uh, superficial. Touch some fundamental basis on the skin rash, but the take home message is what kind of situation, what kind of rash you need to see emergency, or and. Uh, 
uh, how to communicate, talk to your physician uh, in time fashion, and also give all the information you know. Either you have new uh, cosmetic product, or eat some new food, or um, exposed to some uh, new friend from international. Whatever the the uh, history you um, it's new to you regarding to the simple or just the rash on the skin could implicate an implication of a serious problem. So that's a take home message. And uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.